Hey guys, I'm a BMX Flatlander. My name is Mario Carelsi and I ride for Team Extreme and I'm going to be showing you some BMX tips and hints. We're going to look at how to use a BMX bike. Uh, now you have your bike, um, you obviously want to know the proper ways to use it. Now the first thing to remember is always use your bike responsibly and safely. Uh, those are the two key things before you do attempt to do any sort of stunt work or riding around the road. You need to know how to use your bike safely. Um, you also need to make sure that it's all work in order, everything is fine and safe. Um, with a BMX, um, to use it correctly, obviously you'll choose which discipline you want to go into. You learn that discipline, but obviously it's important that you learn it the correct way and the safe way. Go to the correct places to ride your bike, don't just pick anywhere willy nilly where there's going to be general public, chances of crashing into people or having accidents on the road. There's always designated areas, i.e. skate parks, um, vert ramps, uh, velo velodromes and BMX tracks um, or even places like this where it's open and it's empty so you're not going to get into any bother crashing into anybody or anything like that um, and just be responsible and safe and make sure your bike is always maintained. After you've used your BMX bike um, it's very important to actually look after it as well. Um, every time you've had a session on it or you've been to the vert ramp or you've ridden your flatland once you've, once you've come back home you know, give it, it doesn't hurt to give it a little clean down. If you've been to a place where it's dusty or it's been wet and muddy, clean that all off because you don't want your bike to rust. If you leave it anywhere where it's going to get moisture, condensation, you're going to have problems in a few months' time. Um, the last thing you want is your bike rusting, uh, especially around the chain area, around the headset area, or your brakes. Um, try and store your bike in a nice place, either in your house or in a shed at the back, and also have a uh, locks. Make sure you have a padlock with you, a good sturdy one, so when you're out and about you know your bike's going to be secure. You can padlock it anywhere, to fences, to lampposts, to railings, anything like that. Just keep it safe. You've, you've worked to get your bike, make sure you hang on to it um, and just look after it in general. Um, it doesn't hurt, like I said, to clean it regularly. Um, make sure everything is greased and oiled, especially if you live in an area where you get a lot of rain and stuff. You want to make sure that when you go home you don't just put your bike in and let it dry on its own. Get a cloth on it, wipe it all down, get that moisture off and then you'll find that by doing that your bike will last a lot longer, it will feel a lot better to ride and you'll just have a better riding experience on a bike that feels nice all the time.